Hey guys, it's Loves to Loom here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this super adorable Souls Mark I bracelet. This was created by Souls Provider on Instagram. He actually came up with this design quite some time ago, but we're just now getting around to a tutorial. And I actually loved this design from the moment he posted it, so I'm super excited to do it today. Um, this is considered Mark 1 or MK1 because he does have like another variation of this. So if you ever see MK1, that is what it stands for. Um, this does take about 110 bands or so. It may not even require that depending on your wrist size. But without wasting any time at all, let's get started. To make this bracelet, I do recommend having a double-ended hook or two hooks handy because it makes things much easier. You're also going to need one C-clip. And the first colors you're going to decide on will be the inner color, which is uh, the clear on this one. And you don't really see it, it just kind of holds things together. You see it a little bit from the side. So I'm going to use silver. We're going to start by making a basic cat band like so and then I recommend c-clipping this cat band together it just makes things a little bit easier for the next part you can just let that c-clip fall at the bottom and now we're going to grab that same color again and we're going to pull it through the whole cat band before we reattach the other side, we are going to pick up the left part of that cap band and place it back on our hook. And then you can close the other side off. So it sits like that. Now you're going to grab the first color you want on the outside of your bracelet. And we're going to bring this through the first two. Before we close it off, we're going to pick up the outside band and place it back on our hook and then close it off. Grab that same color again, and this time we're gonna go through only the first and third. So the second one will stay on the hook. So bring it through the first, and then bring over the third one. So it should sit something like this, and before closing this off, we're gonna pick up the outside band, place that back on our hook, and then close off the one you pulled through. And now we're going to take the third band and we're going to pull it over our hook. Like so. So that's what it should look like. And now we're going to slide it down and we will do the same thing to this side. So before we can start adding the bands on, we need to open this side up. And we're going to now attach this side of the cap band. So pick that up. And then close that back off. Make sure you keep it in that order. Grab your first outside band color, which is blue for me. And we're going to bring that through the first two bands. Before you reattach, we're going to pick up the outside band, place it back on, and then close that off. And now we're going to bring through another one of my blue bands. This one's going to go through the first and third. So the first one, the second one's going to stay. And I'm going to bring this third one over. Like that. We're going to pick up the outside band and put that back on our hook. And then close off the one you pulled through. We're going to grab the third band, counting from the outside. And you're going to pull it over your hook. Like that. So it should look something like this now. And now we're going to pull our inner color band through again, which is the silver for me. So this goes through everything on your hook. And then you can go ahead and reattach. And it will look something like this. So now before we start the next section, we will need to grab this outer band right here and put it on our hook. Like that. And make sure you keep it in that order. So now I'm going to go to my next color. I'm going to use white. We're going to bring this through the first two bands. Now this time, and this time going forward, we're going to pick up the band closest to our hook. 
and place it back on. And then we'll close off the one we pulled through. We'll get our next band, same color, and we'll bring it through the first and third. So that second one should stay on there. Should look like this. And now we're going to pick up the outside band, place it back on our hook, and close off the one you pulled through. And you could do that in one motion if, you know, once you get the hang of it. So we're now going to grab the third band. And we're going to bring that over our hook. Like so. And it just locks it in. So now we can slide it down into the other side. So once again, before we start this side, we have to add that band on. So just scoop it up with your hook. Make sure you keep them in that order. Grab your band, bring it through the first two bands. Before we reattach it, we need to pick up the inner band closest to your hook. Place it back on. Now we can close this one off. Grab your next band, same color still. And this is going to go through the first and third. Like so. Pick up the outside band and you can close off the one you're pulling through like that. We're going to grab our third band and we're going to pull that over the hook. Like so. Now we can go ahead and grab our inner color band again, and this will go through everything on our hook. And then reattach the other side. We need to just even it out a little bit. Voila! So to get started on my next section, I'm going to pick up this outer band, place it back on right there. Keep them separated, and I'm going to go back to my blue. So we'll go through the first two. We'll pick up the inner band, place it back on our hook. Close it off. And now we'll bring through the second band of that same color. This will go through the first band and the third. We're going to pick up the outside band, place it on our hook, and close off the one we pulled through. We'll grab the third band, counting from the outside, and we'll bring it over our hook like that. Slide it down and repeat. Before you start, you always want to pick up that outside band right there, making sure you keep it in that order. Pull through your first band, pulling it through the first two bands, picking up the inner band, and getting it back on your hook. Close that off. Grabbing your second band, bringing it through the first and the third. I kind of use my finger to slide the third one over if you haven't noticed. And then you can just grab the outside band and close off the one you're pulling through. Like that. Grab that third band and pull it over. Voila! Isn't that nice and easy? I love it. It's such a cute design. It's so fast to make. And I just think it's so cool. So pull this band through everything and reattach. So I don't think I need to really actually keep explaining because it's so easy, but I am just gonna quietly do it a few times.
Alrighty guys, so that is all there is to it in order to make this super cute souls bracelet. I certainly hope you guys find it as easy as I did, and I just think it is so cute. I do. I really love it. So this is the Souls Mark 1 bracelet created by Souls Provider on Instagram. If you have not seen his page, I will have his link below so you can check him out. He really has some super gorgeous hook-only designs, so definitely check him out if you get a chance. Um, also, tag him and myself, Love Saloon, if you make this. I'd love to see your rendition. And if you haven't done so, you can subscribe down below. That way you can keep up to date with all of my latest tutorials. So I certainly do appreciate all of your support. And I'll see you soon at my next video. Thanks so much. Bye.